What is up everyone, this is Kiran here, welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel. This one is a Palladium OS which has a very unique UI. This is, we have the Atomic Hub, your one-stop customization center. Where you get some customization, it doesn't focus on a lot of customizations, but yes, the UI is looking a little bit of unique here. As you can see, the UI of customization menu is quite good. You need to just select here, click this, uh, click other options if you want to open any kind of menu here these are some interesting things and palladium os is quite good it's available for other devices also i'm reviewing it on my poco x3 i've installed it on my poco x3 using for some time didn't got any major issues still now you can also use this thing on your device if you want to let's talk about some things here in this palladium os first of all if you talk about the quick settings panel has the same kind of ui no customization no extra things in in this quick settings i was looking for something but unfortunately didn't got there the wi-fi and hotspot are working at same time so this is a very interesting thing but yes this is a feature you might get in other custom rooms also so that's not the big thing if you move on to the screen recording some features record audio show touches on screen you can simply record audio through microphone or device audio or whatever else you want to choose and like that we have all those same features the rounded ui is there and you can adjust that by going into settings we have the tiles customizations you can customize the third party tiles options also these are available there and you can simply customize the columns and columns landscape you'll not be able to customize the rows unfortunately but that's not the big thing also the home screen the default launcher has some little bit of extra features like the double tap gesture swipe down to clear all the recents it doesn't come with a pixel launcher pre-installed by default and it has all those features app drawer where you can customize the blur options you can customize the background transparency etc i like that if you move on to the icons home screen has the interesting kind of extra features available so if you want to customize these kind of things in the home or you can say the default launcher we have the icon back support option available you don't need to install any third party launcher to customize to just apply any kind of icon pack there the icon pack option is available in the default launcher and like that i try to install all those apps working perfectly fine the default camera is the normal one it's not kind of actually a MIUI camera it's not a g cam it's a normal snapdragon camera which is of course quite not quite good enough to use it on your device so it's just recommended for you to use the G cam in my case I'm using the G cam 8.1 and yes right now G cam 8.1 is just great here I try to use G cam portrait modes video modes at 60 FPS and just working perfectly fine I'm using this Nikita G cam version 1.0 which is based on Google camera version 8.1 and yes it's just working perfectly fine I have a dedicated video on that so if you have haven't checked it out make sure to check out that it's just great here like that if you move on to some other things like for example i have the safety and status options available if you want to use this custom room as a daily driver make sure the safety status is passing and like that as you can see the safety net status is passing without issues so yes you'll be able to use the banking apps and as you can see i haven't applied any kind of module here I just actually hide the magic by going into settings. So this is just enough. You just need to simply go to the magic settings by going here. You need to just enable the magic hide option and you're good to go. You just need to reboot your device. You'll be able to use the banking apps. So no issues in banking apps. The safety status is passing. The play protect is certified. So everything seems to be good till now. Like that, we have the settings security. We have the fingerprint option. Don't get the face lock. I don't use the face lock much, but it's just up to you. The battery backup seems to be quite good, actually. As you can see, I have the 40% battery still left, and I have screen usage of more than nine hours, which is not actually like that. We, I just tried to plug my, I just plugged my charger to my device for some time but still it's good enough as you can see a lot of interesting kind of improvements i'm using it 90 hertz i i am not using it on 120 hertz actually but it's just up to you at sector we have the same kind of features atomic hub where you can simply enable these options ui where you can customize the g visual mode we can customize the volume panel style i have applied the miui one and as you can see it's just working perfectly fine if you move to theme settings you can simply adjust the asin picker clock style etc if i try to apply the ascent picker here i try to apply the red ascent and it's just working as you can see it's it has no issues in ascent etc if you want to apply that it's just up to you like that if you move on to series bar customizations 
सेम काइंड ऑफ ऑप्शन क्विक सेटिंग्स क्लॉक एंड सीटिस बार आइकन्स वोल्टी वो वाई फाई बैटरी एक्सेट्रा बटन्स नथिंग नथिंग एल्स टू टॉक अबाउट मिस लेन इज नथिंग एल्स इज हेयर दीज वर थिंग्स आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू लेट यू नो लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन कस्टमाइज इज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग गड बाय हैव अ नाइस डे